hobby, sport, passion, just from one day of not catching fish. I was talking more about the woolly bugger. Oh, yeah, I, I will definitely <laughs> fish the woolly bugger. <laughs> the meat fly. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. That's another stud. That one might actually be bigger than the last one. Fish! An oyster. That's, that's the biggest thing is I don't think that you can feel when you're on bottom. I'm dragging. Pro tip, just do whatever Luke Ramstrand does. So look at that, I, I took the exact same hair jig I fished it the exact same way, and the fish ate it and got hooked exactly like a Luke around a strand fish gets hooked. This spot will have, from here to those white houses back there, will have two thirds of the tournament field. This weekend? For good reason. This is, what is the, uh, What's the deal out there? It's like a break or something, or a... yeah, it's a big, giant, flat area with like lots of lots of little points and fingers and sand holes and spawning area and feeding areas. And it's kind of a big point, so it's like a catch. Got it. A catch point too. It comes out this this way. Yep. Can you tell me the exact ratio of substrate? I can't. Well, it is a. Uh, Two thirds rock, one third sand. Perfect. <laughs> rocks ranging from pebble size to boulder size. Oh, that uh, you know. Round rocks, round yeah. from um, decades, centuries of water erosion. Mm -hmm. is, water, know, is water erosion a thing? You know the old <laughs> adage: people don't care what you know until you, they know you care. And I feel like you care, Luke. I, I do. I care so much. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how much I care. <laughs> too much, too much, some would say. <laughs> I want you to catch a fish so bad. <laughs> there we go. Well, you know, we're generally very big here on this spot. It's got nice big head shakes. You can see all the action of the self is handling that. Some big head shakes. Oh yeah, big one. Big hurt. That's a, that's a longer one. Looks like a big old, whoa. Big old male. Doesn't have a huge belly. For a small mouth, though, it does have a big old mouth. Mm. It's a little better start to today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I love those things. Well, that was awesome. Might be, uh, no, we're going to be out. Yeah, you can try your That's bass. This rod is so much fun to catch these things on. Yeah, that's more big edges. Not netting you so we can be more dramatic for the camera. Right in the top of the, right in the roof of the mouth. That's cool. So cool in the sunlight. Got some cool gray spots on his belly. Um, well, uh, I just got, there you go. I just got back from... Ben, why don't you try catching one? That'd be cool. Look at them all right here, Tucker. Bass, 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 bass. 
And the bat. <laughs> Easy. Let's keep it PG for the kids, Russ. Have to cover that bass's ears. <laughs> ear muffet, ear muffet bass. Captain Smalley got a little aggravated there. <laughs> I got a little, I get like a little perch bites at me, or a little, yeah. so a little perch bites, I hear the bass, like a hard hat, it's hard to hear, it's hard to hear, it's hard to that's the one I just had to hear, but. it's a small mouth. What do you call these, schoolies? <laughs> No, his schoolie window is running out fast. Oh, it's so schooly. <laughs> Not friendly to fly rod. <laughs> well, if these aren't friendly to a fly rod, <laughs> I don't know what else is going to be friendly to a fly rod. <laughs> a fly and a bass that big. Russ, you should be able to do this. Right. This is frustrating, to say the least. Look at you, the K is sad for you. And now I, and now I lost the jig you gave me, so I'm really. That'll be uh, $14.99. Love it. <laughs> I'll put on layaway. <laughs> no, I didn't. You probably did. It's a weed. I, it's a. Oh, it's a valuable muscle. Angry. Yeah. Yeah, that one's it's a nice one. That's getting close. That's got to be a five pounder. Pretty colors. Has anybody else caught one yet, Luke? I just, if I answer that question, do I look bad? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Hammerneck. <laughs> nice, nice, nice bass. You, you like that bass, Russ? It's a nice bass. Well, at least he finally gave someone else the lure he's been using. <laughs> got out here a little bit more main lake and uh, got away from the schoolies so hopefully I didn't just make Russ's job of catching one fish harder <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no 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 you know what I would try you to do bit lost it. you know what I would try to do set the hook right <laughs> It's not my fault they're not catching anything, I promise. It really isn't. Oh, just like the shirt. I can't help it if I'm blank and awesome. Oh, I can't help that I'm gorgeous and six foot four. <laughs> yeah. Look at my full head of hair. I am a responsible adult boat, on a boat and stuff. <laughs> I messed that one up. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if you equate responsibility and adult to Luke's boat ownership, I think a lot of people would be offended. <laughs> you gotta really slow down. How's it? That's a good one. Dude, I'll get slower. I'm not sure you demonstrated that. Can I make a suggestion, maybe? Oh, that's one. Look at that. Oh, that was a big one. We might want to net this one up. Look, look, he has that. You good, bro? Yep. Oh, that. 
Yeah. You tell me when you want. Good job, Russ. Thank you. He's not. That one's got a big old belly. <laughs> we were, we literally were joking around and talking about a proprietary hair jig retrieve. <laughs> I caught this one. That is a. That one is a stud. With a big belly, and that thing is just full of eggs. And love the coloration on that one. It's kind of got some green. But hair jigs on a flat, calm, sunny day. That's what'll happen. That is just a beautiful fish. It's probably 21 inches long or so. <laughs> that is awesome. Russ, where's yours? Nice fish. <laughs> that was a fish for the boat. Team effort. I love you, Russ. I love you. <laughs> It's super good for that. If it gets left alone, it can come. It's a problem. <laughs> just dragging it. It's another yeah. big one. <laughs> no, we can just grab this one. It's all scarred up. That's another stud. That one might actually be bigger than the last one. Eesh. Big, wide, thick one. But yeah, that one's got... <laughs> Dude. Here, we'll... Uh... I want you to notice on camera how none of us are even paying attention to what Luke's doing. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Because we totally stopped caring. Oh, congratulations, Luke. Another six oh, Way to go, Luke. And there it is. That's a six, six, almost six, two. Ah. Absolute specimen. So, jokes aside, Luke? Yeah. If you catch that on a fly rod, it is the world record. That is crazy. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Four down, one to go. Four, 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 four down, one to go. There he oh, is. Sweet. I'm gonna get out of the way. That's a small one. Thanks for being nice. It's not, it's not quite Luke size. <laughs> Look at this. This is a sign that I'm doing the right thing. Because literally, I gave the pro tip yesterday to just do whatever pro tip. Just do whatever Luke Ramstrand does. Look at that. I, I took the exact same hair jig. I fished it the exact same way. And the fish ate it and got hooked exactly like the Luke Ramstrand fish gets hooked. All right, we're just starting our uh... Our third day, basically our second full day of uh, our little fun smallmouth adventure here. Just showing you guys some hair jig stuff and uh, kind of putting the final touches on our stealth rods. And I haven't decided what the uh, what exactly the uh, objective of today is going to be. We have great weather again for uh, some of these big fish pushing shallow, but um, I kind of want to see if we can actually have Russ catch a bass on a fly failing miserably at that right now, but I think we're going to do both. We're going to go start with some of our uh, big fish were yesterday and then go and try and get Russ a bass on a fly. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 